Hi everyone, it's Abby here from First Fruits uh, with the market news for this week. Um, today I'm talking about broccoli. Um, broccoli is an, a fabulous vegetable um, that can be eaten in so many different ways and it's also read, readily available uh, Australian grown. We get our broccoli from Werribee. Um, this is how we um, receive our broccoli. It's iced and it's that fresh. So when, when we pack your orders, we're literally taking it out of the ice box that's come from the grower, still iced up, not, not thawed out, straight into your order. So we've got beautiful, nice, firm heads of broccoli here. They vary in size between 300 and 400 grams. And you can see here how nice and firm, they're not flimsy, they're just fresh and crispy. Um, now health benefits of broccoli, they're absolutely super duper vegetable. Um, they've got um, three main components that um, are, are raved about in all sorts of studies. You've got indole 3 cardinal, carbinol I should say, um, which can encourage hormones, uh, good hormones, and discourage bad uh, hormones, which um, can reduce the risk of hormone-related cancers, such as breast cancer and also prostate cancer. Um, Sulforaphane, sulforaphane, it's really hard to say some of these words. Um, it shows to increase levels of enzymes that block cancer. So um, it's fantastic, I mean, with, with the amount of cancer going around these days, we really need to make sure we're eating broccoli. Beta carotene, which um, your body uh, converts to vitamin A, so it's a good source of beta carotene. It's high in vitamin C. So one study has shown that ounce by ounce, cooked broccoli has more vitamin C than an orange. So that's, that's pretty amazing. It's a rich source of calcium as much as a glass of milk. So um, it's high in fiber. One medium spear has three times more fiber than a slice of wheat bran bread. So this stuff is so good for you. Um, it's also a good source of folic acid, um, which is needed for normal um, growth of tissue, especially important for pregnant women. Um, I mean, we're all renewing our tissue, our, our bodies are always renewing cells. So um, it's great for, they've even um, thought that it's good for your skin, like just general health. Um, and you can have a look at the best broccoli when selecting one. As you can see how some of these broccoli, I don't know if you can see on this YouTube, some have a slightly more purple tinge. See this one here has got more of a purple tinge than this one's just green. Um, so the ones with a more of a purple tinge are higher in carotenoids. It's a bit hard to say. So they're better for your health. Um, so just remember that when you're selecting. Now when you're cooking broccoli, um, it's, it has the um, two different sorts of fiber, which is soluble and insoluble. So um, best way to absorb the fiber from broccoli is when it's cooked, but don't overcook it because the more you cook it, um, the less nutri nutritional value it retains. Um, so you want to have um, cooked, cooked broccoli, but also raw broccoli is so good for you. And you might think, well, how am I supposed to eat raw broccoli? Raw broccoli is so yummy. And my favorite recipe is broccoli salad. And I, yes, I've got a lot of favorites, but that is my favorite of favorite. And what you do is you um, just shave off the broccoli frolet, um, florets and you um, chop up a red onion, um, add some currants and some uh, mayonnaise, which is a organic mayonnaise. You can get it from supermarkets. Unfortunately, we, we don't carry it here. Um, and, um, and toast some pine nuts and just mix that in, about a, about a kilo of broccoli, but um, then you go, well, what do I do with the stems afterwards? You can use the stems in absolutely anything, stir fries, but also in coleslaw. Just substitute um, the, the stems, just grate them up instead of cabbage. So that's, that's some great ways to eat some raw broccoli, get that, get that nutritional content. Okay, so that's about it for now. Um, but yeah, broccoli at the moment, uh, the price has come down and it's great quality. So um, keep that in mind at the moment when you're uh, thinking of your meals for the week. Okay, thanks for now. Bye.